Hello again and welcome to the SofaCAD video documentation. In this chapter, I will show you how to edit and set label styles as default and how to modify the graphic configuration of the reinforcement objects in SofaCAD. We are going to start out with label editing. Every reinforcement object has a label style property. We can find out which label style an element is using by opening its info edit menu or through its AutoCAD properties. The label style defines the format and the information that must be displayed. Using the AutoCAD properties is a good way to assign a label to several objects at the same time. If we want to modify any aspect of a label, we have to head to the label editor. Once the label editor has been called, we notice three different areas on its interface. On the left hand side, we find the list of existing label styles sorted by object type. In the middle of the interface we find the preview panel. And on the right hand side there is the properties menu. We can modify existing labels or create new ones. For this example, we are going to create a label style for linear layings, which displays the commentary and material underneath the main line. The first thing we have to do, is to create the new label style. Rather than creating a completely new style from the beginning, I recommend copying an existing one. We have to use the preview panel to create a new text field, where we are going to place the additional information. In this preview panel we will find two main object types, cyan boxes and yellow fields. Every box is composed of one or more fields. To add a new line of text we need a new box. For that, we select the cyan frame and click on one of the green symbols to choose a position for the new line. By selecting the lower left symbol, we create a left aligned line underneath the main one. The field properties section shows us which kind of information is being displayed by the selected field. For our new field we need to change its type from static text to attribute and its attribute type to text. Field and boxes can be deleted by clicking on the red symbol on the upper right corner. We proceed in the same way to create a new line with the attribute material. Text format are also editable. Every box has an independent configuration for its text properties. When we are all done, we apply the changes and close the editor. Back in our plan, we can assign the new label to the layings we want. As we see, my new label style has been added to the list of available label styles. If you want to change the label style that the reinforcement creation commands use as default, go to the rebar style menu. In the options 2 tab, we find a list of the SofaCAD reinforcement objects and the default label style assigned to each one. After the change we have made, if we create a pointer, this will use my new label style as default. As we have seen, rebar and mesh styles are responsible for the definition of the labels that are used as default. But they also store the whole graphic configuration of the SofaCAD reinforcement objects, like colors, line types, or more specific settings for the configuration of layings or detail shapes. This set of configurations is stored under a style name. For example, the rebar style that I am using now is Sophie 25. But if we want, I can choose another, or create a new one. Now I am going to show you some of the most used graphic options is SofaCAD. Let us start by changing the color of the detail shapes or bar mark view. Since we want to modify an element of the group rebar we will find its graphic configuration options in the rebar style menu. On tab bar mark view, 
the first element of the list we find is bar mark view. We check the element and then select the desired color. After leaving the menu with the OK button the changes will be applied. The same workflow can be used for shapes in formwork or any other reinforcement object. For rebar cuts, SofaCAD offers a minimum value to increase the represented size of the bars in order to ensure that they will be still printed if the viewport scale is too big. If we prefer to see the real diameter of the bar, we can set this value to 0.01, so it will have no longer effect. Switching between the real and the sketch representation of the reinforcement bars is possible. We find this setting in rebar style option 1. Another interesting features are crossing point and crossing line for laying. These allows us to add a symbol at the baseline and in front of every laid bar. To activate them we select both elements and set the desired size for the symbol. Instead of a line we can use a circle. Now we see that the symbol collides with the labels. To handle this issue, we have several options. First one would be to activate the labels wipeout. Second one would be to use a small spacer to automatically place the label a bit further away from the baseline. To do that, we open the label editor and select the corresponding label style. Then, on the preview panel we add a new box underneath the main one and change the field type to spacer and the parameter height to a suitable size. Remember that the rebar and mesh style and label styles can be exported or imported between drawings, so you do not have to create them every time. However, is always advisable to save them in your project template. Those have been the basic principles of the graphic configuration in SofaCAD. On the next video I am going to show you how to create reinforcement schedules. Thank you for watching this tutorial.